Hi, this is Anson Garcia, your host for the Ask Anson channel. And today I'm going to do a quick rundown on uh, the DHCP utils uh, for the link server. So this was a little confusing for me, and that's why I made a video. Um, anyway, what uh, the link uh, documentation says to do uh, to get an Astra phone or some of the newer phones, some of the newer phones uh, require the use of DHCP um, options. Uh, obviously, DHCP being uh, the ability to function on the network, uh, of course. And the other being the ability to sign in for newer phones that don't support NTLM, or you do not username password. Uh, they rather use, utilize a certificate based authentication as well as a uh, PIN authentication. So, this requires some specific DHCP options, which uh, in my uh, limited Microsoft experience are weird. So, it's not a, a regular little option that you can put in. There is some sub options, and it, I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to create it uh, create it manually. So I knew kind of what they were asking, and I tried to create it manually instead of using this DHCP util uh, to create them for me, and I couldn't do it. So I had to do this use this DHCP util, and I had some problems with it. I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. So uh, top uh, first the information on what I have here. I have a Link uh, 2010 server. Uh, it's standard edition. I'm running everything on one server. This is a little lab environment. It's 64-bit, obviously. And then I have a DHCP server. My um, DHCP server is a 60, uh, excuse me, a 32-bit. And that was my problem. So I have a 64-bit Link server and I have a 32-bit uh, DHCP server. So what I had to do, um, uh, you probably already know about this DHCP utility, and that's why I'm. Uh, this is exactly what I'm. Uh, uh, making this video for. So this DHCP utility, which is the one that creates the options, these funky options, um, you can find this in documentation, what you have to do here. That basically, it's the um, DHCP util.exe, and in your SIP server, right, that's just a switch, and then what's, this, what's the, the, the pool? So there's my pool, lspool01.bzb.com, and then you have another switch, web server, this is a certificate uh, authentication. Uh, server. That's also the link server. So that kind of confused me. I was doing my CA server there for a while. But anyway, this web server is the link server itself. When you do that, what this thing does is create uh, a script. So it basically puts all, if you look at this thing, it says, hey, you want me to use this as my fully qualified uh, domain name uh, for my SIP server and then my, uh, my certificate provisioning server URL is, and there is my there's my guy, right? It put in this stuff for me, HTTPS, and this path for me. So it has some things that it can do. And then it had, it created some options, some DHCP options here. And then here's the option 43, the sub options. So it's ready to, I can go now, if I had a 64-bit DHCP server, I could run this DHCP util on the DHCP server and use this run config script switch. And everything will work great. Okay, now when I ran this DHCP util, what I did, I copied over there, excuse me, at first I just put a path to it, right? Now it's sitting on a 64-bit server, so it's a 64-bit application, so it didn't work. So there in, 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 uh, there was my problem. Uh, so I tried all kind of things, and I just couldn't get it right, and then that's when I started going the manual way, and I couldn't get that right. So right here, it tells me, it kind of clues me in on the other way to do this. So run the following command on the DHCP server. Modify the path of the DHCP config uh, script.bat. So that's just a regular bat file, regular batch file. So hey, I can I can definitely run that on a 32-bit machine. So I took this bat file, I copied it over to my DHCP server. Right. Once I copied it over to my DHCP server, uh, I fooled around with that a little bit and then figured out I'm still missing something. So right here it, it, it tells me what to do I just didn't read far enough it says hey go run this bat file and with all this stuff after it starting right here config MS client so all this minutia here all this mumbo jumbo basically what it's doing is doing the same thing as creating the script up here so it's 
uh, will build my option 120, build my option 43 in my DATP server and put all these options. It's just in a bat file and I have to put all this mumbo jumbo over here. So what I did is I just copied the bat file, this uh, config script bat file, and then over over to my, my Active Directory and then I just copied all that minutia, right? I went over here and I just marked this, marked this guy and then I copied all this stuff right here and then I came over to my Active Directory uh, and then I copied that in a notepad and then took out the spaces and then copied all that and then uh, executed my uh, put my bat file there and put all that stuff right after it and boom if I run that see it all that everything's successful so it's creating all those DHCP options for me if I go over here to my DHCP options I'll see all this stuff was created in all my scopes see all this stuff here so these are you know, weird stuff. The only place you can really modify these is over here. So here they are. You can see there's MS Client. There's the next piece of it. So these are sub options, but they all kind of fit together. See there? So those are all their sub options for uh, for 43. And then there's 120 that it built. There's my LS pool right there. That's my front end. So I'm running standard. So uh, right when I did that, my phone started working so I was getting the web certificate error and all that kind of stuff that uh, a lot of people had been uh, posting on TechNet I, I found no one really uh, uh, there was one note there was one good blog uh, in there that talked about you know uh, how to do this thing it's just a note it was a side note uh, and that kind of clued me in so uh, I forget who did that but uh, thanks and that led me in the right direction and um, uh, anyway, thanks.